What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cobblestone generator. That's what this is. Now one small thing that's changed recently with pistons is that they no longer can crush blocks, so you end up having to just mine the cobblestone individually after it's created, but it still lets you gather it rather quickly. So I'll show you how it works. With everything set up the way I have it here, you step on the pressure plate and it pushes the cobblestone out, collect it, and it'll just keep on pushing out a new cobblestone block as long as you can stand here on the plate. You can gather as much as you want. And then once you back off, it stops pushing it out. That way you're not wasting it. Something to keep in mind is pistons can only push blocks out 12 blocks. So once it's created 12 and pushed them out into a long chain here, it'll just stop creating them and stop pushing them until you block it off and cut it off at the end. That's why I did it with the pressure plate. That way it only does it when I'm standing on it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this now. Okay, I chose to make mine out of glass just because it looks more aesthetically pleasing. But basically it's just two columns separated in the middle. One's water, one's lava obviously. They flow into each other to create the cobblestone. I have an AND gate here and a 5 clock off in the background here. And I'll show you how to make these. I'm going to make it out of glass again just so it looks the exact same. For starters, just place three blocks in kind of a diamond shape like this. You're going to place one in the middle too. And do the same thing on this side so that this first block is being shared. And so you have it looks like this. And over here, go ahead and stack up two, two more. And leave this bottom block out here. And over here, stack up two, two more. more. But go ahead and put the bottom block right there so that you can't fall down in this spot here. I like to just place dirt underneath where I'm going to put the piston so I know where it's going to go. And uh, that's a whole lot of, really that's about it. Um, <laughs> it's pretty simple. You place a piston here and it, uh, it places it the f direction you're facing so do it from this side. And that's really about it. It's uh, it's not much more complicated than that, honestly. So, uh, we'll do the next step. Okay, from back behind now, you're going to be able to need to access this. And to make it easier, just place one block directly below like this. And something else be sure to do is, up here at the very top, you're going to need another block of glass right here in the middle. Like this. You can break out this one if you want to, aesthetics. But ha make sure you have one right here so that it separates where the water is going to go and where the lava is going to go. Something you have to keep in mind, if water flows into lava, it creates obsidian, which is that very hard to destruct block that's kind of purplish color. But if lava flows into water, it creates cobblestone, which is what you want. So what you're going to be having is the water is going to be over here, it's going to flow straight down there so it doesn't go anywhere else and the lava is going to be over here and flow down and out and when it meets the water here in the middle it'll create cobblestone right here in the middle so that's how that's actually going to work you have this back here so that the uh, redstone can actually get to it now what I did was over there I created an AND gate so I'm going to create one over here to do that you just put three blocks side by side put a redstone to torch on the top of both of them regular redstone in the middle and then you put one on the back here facing the side here so what that means is as long as both of these are lit this will be off but as soon as both of them will go out this one will light up and this is the one that's going to be accessing and controlling the piston itself so now this piston is ready to be activated Alright, something I like to do with this is I have a block of obsidian right here that I got from having water flow into lava. It is breakable, but you have to use the diamond pickaxe. I like to place it right in front of it here. And the reason why is because it's so much harder to break, it takes forever to actually chip away for it to go away. So, having your cobblestone pushed out onto this will make it so that you can sit here and just chip away all day long and not have to worry about accidentally breaking the wrong block. Next thing you need to do is get your pressure plate and place it right in front of it so that when you step on it, it'll activate and you're standing right in front of it. Use your redstone, place it over so that it links up with this first torch here. So when you step on it now, you'll see it goes off. The next thing we have to do is build the five clock in the background here so that it can um, activate the pulse portion of the pivot, no, sorry, the pistons. 
Now there's a lot of way to make five clocks and you could use a four clock. I like doing it this way just because it it works, It's uh, the timing works like it's supposed to and it's just a little bit easier. So you just do it the same way I'm doing. So you place a repeater here facing this direction and one here. And then on the other side, place one here, one here. And place one right here on the end. One, two, three, four, five. And then you just make sure you have redstone linking in between each one of them. Also, set the timer on, on each one of them to number four, the furthest one out. That'll make sure that the timing of the piston is so that it, you know, doesn't just keep going back and forth really quickly. Now, something that's kind of a pain with doing this is in order to activate it, what you got to do is place a red torch and then pick it up real quickly, and you'll see. See, it's not doing anything right now, but you put, put a torch down there, and you'll see it. Now it's going around in circles here. Now if you close out the world and open it back up, you'll have to redo this every time. So just keep in mind that when using a five clock. Okay, so now you have, this is being activated this way here. See this torch goes off every couple of seconds here. So now when you stand on this, you see it now, it's now it's activating like it's supposed to. The last thing we have to do really is just add the water and the lava and you're good to go. Whoops, sorry. So from up top, place your water on this side and your lava on this side. And now when they meet in the middle, poof, cobblestone. And it won't do anything as long as it's just sitting there because it's only going to create it in the same spot. And as I said, it's where lava meets water. So with this block here, it's not going to do anything. Even not stepping on the pressure plate, if I chip it away, you'll see it creates another one. But now by stepping on the pressure plate, you see it pushes it out to me. And you can just sit here and gather cobblestone to your heart's content. And that's all there is to it. Now, quick disclaimer, there are a lot of different ways to do this. This is not the easiest nor the most complex way to do it. It's just a very quick way that you can make one that actually does work. You could make a traditional five clock instead of using the repeaters by having blocks and torches around. Um, as I said, you could do it as a four clock and just get rid of one of these. Um, I chose a five clock again just because it makes the timing of the piston such that it it goes right after the block forms and it's not just a whole bunch of the piston going back and forth with nothing in front of it. So that's that. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, I wish that they would fix it again so that pistons could crush blocks because what you could do is put a piston right here and put one on this side facing each other and have it timed so that they connect in the middle and it would crush the block in the middle and then you just have the resource block. You wouldn't have to mine them anymore. But that was recently patched. Um, a quick reminder also this is version 1.7.3 you can see in the top left hand corner there this is a beta version and this is without using any mods I don't know for sure if the piston mod the original piston mod will still work and allow it to crush blocks I do not know but anyway I hope this helped you out if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and I'll do my best to answer them I appreciate you guys time and I'll talk to you later